Hi! Welcome back to Technique 4 Tutorials. This video is about Mail Engine, Cron Setup for Email Composition, Email Schedule, or Email Sequences. So let's get started. First of all, visit the Email Settings from the Mail Engine sidebar, and you will see a screen like so. And the first section is all about Cron Setup. So I will be describing all of these things, but first, this setup is not the same as our initial launch. This are changed actually. So if you are an existing Mail Engine user, and if you have the older version, then we are suggesting you to update it from your plugin section. Just visit the plugin section from the sidebar, and here you will be getting the update. Just click on the update button, and our current version is version 3.4. Now going back to the Mail Engine email settings, as I have mentioned earlier, the first part is for cron setup. But for now, I will skip the first three fields, for I will describe it later on on this video. We have two types of command, script-based command and URL-based command. The URL-based command we have actually used before, but we have recently introduced script-based command. We are suggesting for you to use only one between these two commands. We recommend turning the script base on, and please make sure to save the setting from here. And all the things we have to do next is just copy the command from here. If you are using script base command, then click to copy this one. Same goes for URL base command. Just click here to copy the command. But again, we are suggesting script-based command. We hope that every server supports the command that we have written. Next, let's go to cPanel for cron setup. Here I am inside my cPanel. Then, let's look for the cron setup. Click on cron jobs. Now remember that we have copied the script-based command from here. Now we have to paste the command over here on the command field. Now it's all about how frequently we are going to execute this command. And we are going to understand what's happening in the back end. For example, when composing mail, it sends out the mails in the back end, even when the mail composition tab is not opened. Schedules are automatically triggering mails at different times. So all those things will happen for the cron. It will depend on the timing the script is going to be executed based on that your mails are going to be triggered. So let me get started by the timing setting. Here you can write out the timing as per your requirement, but in cPanel, we have some built-in setup. For example, we can run it once per minute or once per five minutes, like so. Okay, so let me choose this one, once per five minutes, and you will see this setup. The timings are automatically generated for us. So in this sense, if you want to change it to once per two minutes, you can change it from here. Here's how it's going to work. In every five minutes, this cron command is going to be executed. And it's going to check whether any email composition is running, or if there's an email scheduled, or whether it's the correct time to trigger the mails. So all of these things are going to be checked by this command. Now what you'll need to do is to add the new cron job, and when you click on it, you will see it, it will be added on here. But let me describe a few more things here. Like our current setup is going to be executed once per five minutes. And what will happen is, inside mail engine, let me describe these things. Here we have a field about the maximum number of emails that can be sent per run. Here we have entered 380. So every five minutes, when the cron command will be executed, it will trigger a maximum of 380 emails, if available. You can modify the count as per your requirement. Whenever you're using free email providers like Gmail or Yahoo, they actually do not allow you to send so many emails at a time. So as per your requirement, you can just change this and it's going to be sent out according to your timing setup. You can change the mails per minute here, 
and this command will execute every minute. For example, you have a schedule that's going to send out 1000 mails. So what will happen is as per our current setup, we have set it here for 2 minutes. So every 2 minutes, the cron command will be running. And from the 1000 of the emails, it will send out 380 emails per run. And again, the command will run again after 2 minutes. And it will send another 380 emails until it covers 4,000 emails you will need to send. So that is the maximum emails that can be sent per run. Moving on, here is the delay time between sending two groups of emails. The synchronous sending. And as of now, we are sending mail asynchronously as the field send mail asynchronously is turned on. And when it's turned off, the synchronous sending is turned on. So as of now, it is sending mails asynchronously. And if you are changing anything from here, you want to make it effective. Please make sure to save the settings. Going back to synchronous and asynchronous sending, the current asynchronous sending is turned on. What's happening is that every two minutes, according to the cron setup, in every two minutes, it's going to trigger out 380 emails, but it's not going to check whether the previous emails were sent or not when the asynchronous sending is turned on. And when the command is triggered after two minutes again, it will send another 380 emails if it's available, but it will not check if the previous group of emails was sent or not it will just start sending another group of emails. That's why it's called asynchronous sending. It's really fast and efficient to use. And if you just keep the group size list, here we have 380 emails based on our mailer and our SMTP is capable to send. That's why. In our case, you can just set the amount of emails here as per your mailer's capability or whatever you want. Again, asynchronous sending will send the mails faster. So if we turn this off and turn on the synchronous sending, what will happen is that when the ground command is executed, if it has to send out a thousand emails, it will immediately start sending all those 1000 emails at a time. And that actually creates pressure in your server it can create a load on your server. Earlier on asynchronous, it will just send 380 emails per runtime. Although, a thousand is actually not a huge number. I'm just saying it as an example. But if you send out like 50,000 or 100,000 at a time, it will surely create a load to your server. So here, it will send 380 emails at a time on your back end and has a delay time of seconds you put here. When the asynchronous is turned off, you can provide the delay timings here. It will send 380 emails per run. Then wait for the delay time provided before sending out another group of emails. So that's how the synchronous sending and delay timing works. And we recommend to use the asynchronous sending. Moving on, as I have mentioned earlier, we are recommending for you to use the script-based command. And in the previous version, we had only the URL-based command, where we were providing only the URL and you had to write the command yourself in the cron tab. But in this version, we have the complete command. One more thing. Please make sure if you are watching this video and creating a new one, we suggest for you to go as per your current setup as it is more efficient for you for bulk mailing purpose. And we are recommending you to delete the existing setup that you have. And please note, don't create two setup at a time for the cron. Make sure to have only one. So if you want to create a new or add a new cron job, you can just click here to add. But it will create a mess in your mail engine. Like down here, we have a different setup but with the same command it can create a mess. You can just use one. We don't need the same setup twice, so just delete the other one.
At the same time, don't use the script base command and URL base command together. Just choose one and make sure to only use one on your cron job. Like here, this is actually a script base command and we are using it on cron and it is turned on. Use whatever is set on the email settings. And that is our mail engine cron setup. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.